Okay, so as far as measuring amperage, uh, with this specific meter, we'll turn it on here and we'll put it on the 10 amp setting. There are actually two settings. Okay, we have a large amp setting and a small amp setting. So pay attention on your meter to where those settings are and what's underneath them. So the large amp setting, it says 10 amps maximum. So this setting can only measure 10 amps. Okay, and that's super important. On the milliamp scale or the small amp scale, it can only measure 400 milliamps. Again, that's super important as well. So if you've let someone use your meter, you're not sure how to use a meter, okay, keep those two things in mind. Because what happens if you look at a battery, this specific battery has 550 cold cranking amps. So for instance, you would not use this meter to measure the amperage of the battery, okay? Because 550 amps is way higher than the 10 amps or the 400 milliamps that this meter is capable of measuring. So usually what happens is someone's probably trying to measure battery voltage and when they measure battery voltage, they're on the wrong setting. So 550 cold cranking amps attempts to go through a 10 amp fuse and blows the fuse. So that's typically what happens when, you know, again, you're not sure how to set up your meter. All right, so that's why we're gonna show you that today. So this particular circuit pulls about two amps. So I've moved my rotary dial to the 10 amp scale. I'm gonna move my red lead over to the large amp scale. All right, my black lead's gonna stay in the common. And then now I'm going to make my meter part of the circuit, my red to the most positive, my black to the most negative of the wire that I took out. So all I'm doing is removing this wire and now I'm using my meter for that wire. So I'm gonna turn the circuit on and now the current flow is gonna go through this wire, through my fuse, through my switch, through my red lead, through my meter, out my black lead, through the bulb to ground. And we're getting like 1.8 amps. Okay, so right around two amps for this particular one. All right, now one other thing I'll show you just so we can see some small amps. We have an LED, so a light emitting diode or LED. And we'll make sure the circuit comes on and works. Okay, so we have our LED. Now these are super low amperage. So I'm going to move my red lead over to milliamps. I'm going to move my rotary dial and I'm going to make my meter part of the circuit. Again, three things, rotary dial, meter lead, break into the circuit. Okay. And this is what we mentioned before. All right. So nothing, the, the light doesn't come on. I'm not getting a reading on my meter. That means most likely that this fuse is blown. Okay. So I will try it on our larger amp scale and see if we can actually get a reading. Okay, so now the LED came on, that means we actually have current flow in the circuit now, and I'm actually getting a reading. So 0 0.021 amps, which would be about 22 milliamps um, if we uh, change that to different units. So again, if you're not getting a reading, chances are the fuse is blown. Okay.